this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to give someone a digital nose job. And I put here, a job well done is one where it's hardly noticeable, which is which is true. What you want to be doing is uh, if you're going to be changing anyone's nose to any proportions, thinner, shorter, or combination, uh, you want to make it so it's not so obvious that there's been any manipulation done. So you want to aim for subtlety, essentially. That's what that means. So here we have a photo here where, uh, you know, uh, Depends on your taste and so forth, I suppose. But uh, let's pretend that she needs, you know, the, uh, a nose job here. And uh, what we're going to do here, like I said, there, there are many things you can do. You can make a nose, and also depends kind of on the angle, but you can make the nose uh, not as wide, so thinner, and you can make it not as tall as well, so shorter. So, Or you can do a combination of the two, which is what we're going to do here. We're just going to overall essentially just shrink her, uh, her nose down a little bit. So what we need to do is... Um, just go in here with our lasso tool, just the standard lasso tool. And we want to uh, draw around the nose. Now we want to draw loosely around the nose. So we don't want to get too close to the nose, uh, just around it like so. Okay? So it's okay if we got some of the eyes and so forth. Don't go crazy, but just go over the, the nose, bigger than the nose. And now we're going to go into Select, Modify, and Feather. And we're going to add a feather radius of 20 pixels. It kind of depends how much you've selected and the size of your image. In this image here, 20 pixels works. And the way you can tell if it works or if it doesn't work is in the next step. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to bring up our layers palette. And I'm just going to copy that over. So I'm just going to do a Control and J. And we'll have that nose on a separate layer. Now, if we untick here the background layer. Uh, you'll know, this is where you'll know if you had the right amount of feather, is uh, if you're getting all of the nose. If it's all in there still with the feather, then you're good. If the nose is uh, disappearing, then it's not so good. So here we're pretty good. We're actually here we're a little bit borderline here because the nose is starting to disappear a little bit here. Uh, we'll check into that, uh, see if it needs uh, any fixing. So uh, well, for now, we'll just leave it as it is. Um, okay, so uh, what we need to do here now is actually make a modification to that nose, that copy of the nose, essentially. And the way we do this is with free transform. So the shortcut for that is Control and T. And uh, like I said here, what you can do is uh, move the uh, the edges here to make it thinner, or you can move the tops. And the way you can make uh, just the edge move just on one way, on one side here, or you can make it on both axes, but if you just uh, hold down the uh, the Alt key, and then uh, you can move both of them sideways there, or uh, top and bottom, just the top, or top and bottom together like so. Now, like I said, you want to be shooting for subtlety, so you'll never really be wanting to make any modifications if you pay here to the percentages. Anything uh, lower than 90%, you really don't want to do that. You really ideally want to stay with it 95%. Now, because I want to make the snow smaller, what I want to do is just make everything small. So I'll just lock here my uh, my width and height and actually just change that with the keypad to 95%. So I'm just going to make everything 5% smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And you can see the before and the after here. So we just made the nose just slightly smaller. And like I said, you're just shooting for subtlety. So it cannot look like it's been modified in Photoshop. It won't look natural. So it has to be something that could fool even maybe even the person on the photo. So there we are. Now, of course, we have some areas that we need to fix. So the way we fix this is uh, with here with our uh, layer mask, we're going to fill this in with black. So we're going to completely mo uh, mask out our layer. So we just done a uh, Control and backspace because black is my background color. And now I'm just going to bring that detail back um, with the nose. I'm just going to paint into the nose. So I'm going to use a smaller brush here to be able to paint into the nose. I'm going to paint in with white so that I am bringing in the, uh, making the nose smaller. So I'm painting it in, making those modifications uh, stick essentially. So we're just making that modification. And remember to always use. Uh, here the the eye uh, thing here to remove the visibility so you can see a before and the after and see if you have any trouble around anywhere where you've painted any areas that you've forgotten that would make sense to make smaller and so forth but I think overall this is a pretty good job here I just want to zoom in here a little bit to the eye here uh, with a smaller brush and just modify here the eye trying to make sure that it's not being modified too much no there we are 
And uh, there we are. So we have the before and we have the after. And remember, stick to 95 at the most 90% shoot for subtlety. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.